Hi, my name is Rex Beanland and welcome to this week's painting demonstration. We're going to be doing a, a scene, a landscape with a bridge and I've actually turned it into a bit of a medieval theme. These are two medieval buildings that I found and some castles and whatnot. Uh, the colors I'm using today, I'm using Cad Red Light. This is Hansa Yellow Medium and I'm using two blues, Cobalt Blue and Thalo Blue. So the first thing I'm going to do is put it in the sky and I'm using a little bit of tinted water here just so I can see where I've put it and I want a very irregular stroke. Okay, and into that I'm going to do a cobalt blue sky. And I think I'm going to keep something like that with lots of white showing through and just one thing I want to add often when the sky comes down to the horizon it turns a little bit yellowish or orangish. Okay, the first thing I'm going to work on is this mountain here which is in two planes, this one being further back. So I'm going to start out by just kind of pre-wetting it and I just want to take a little bit of time to go around this castle. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it right over this second plane. Now what I want to do here is I'm going to try and uh, outline or have the outline of this tree type shapes and into it just for some variety I'm going to add a little bit of orange When you have plains of mountains, one in front of the other, or hills, it tends to be the top that's a bit darker. I'm going to take this, my ultramarine, and just neutralize it a little bit. Yeah, I don't want it to be that pure color. Okay, now I'm going to do the plane of the mountain that's in front of it, and I'm going to do it in a similar way. I'll start out with um, ultramarine, just neutralized a little bit. And all that matters is that this plane be a darker value than the one behind it, which it it is standing out in front of it. This castle is going to be kind of on some rocks. I'll go back to my blues. A little more neutralized here. This is far enough away that I don't need to get into actually drawing tree shapes too much. Just I have my brush with a fairly chiseled point. I want it to come into a bit greener as it gets closer here. Now if I can get this green to be a, a darker value like that, I should be able to have it stand out in front here a little bit closer. I'm going to take a little of the thalo blue in there because it's such a strong color and I'll kind of mix in a bit of everything. And just Put this, have a few so over here I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I'll just work with what I have here, but I want it to be appear even further away, so of course less detail.
just want to be careful around the the building here okay now I want I'm going to do this same thing again here I just want this plane to stick out in other words to be a darker value than the one behind it and then I don't want it to be too strong a value okay and just vary the color a little bit here I'm also going to take the thalo blue and add a little bit of that for variety Not too much I'm going to start this dark over here. And I think I should just do this little castle that's sitting on the mountain there. I think we'll work on the bridge here. And the bridge I want to be warm. I'm going to start out with a, a light wash, really tinted water. And now the, I'm just going to fill this, get this wet first of all. But I want, I'm thinking I'd like to connect the white of the front, this building with the bridge. So I want to leave the central part untouched. It's a little more this color here a little too strong yeah, so I'm purposely trying to leave some areas white and uh, some get shapes in there which will as I said read as detail now, I don't want this to be really bright at the edge of the paper. And towards the edge, I want it to be, to neutralize it more. And I think I actually might go a little bit to the green side, some foliage or something over here. And maybe a little bit on this side. Okay, and then I'm going to just increase the value a little bit. Is it? A little bit, little bit darker still, particularly in here where there's going to be the ice. And then I'm going to just take pure water here and just soften some of these, soften some of these shapes. And what I'm going to do now is take this same reddish orange wash here. And I'm going to extend it for some directional lines in the water. And I'm using uh, this brush is really good for free strokes happening. Now I'm going to move up to these buildings. The sides away from the light, I want them to be fairly dark. And this is one I'm going to, I'll start out, I'll just take some of this wash that's there and start This is just really a tinted water thing. I'm going to use, I'm just going to clean this off. I'm going to use some thalo blue here. And it's a, and I want it to be fairly strong. 
want to get a good dollop because I'm hoping to get this the first time. Nice and wet, nice and juicy. Yes. And we'll have a nice strong blast of the Thalo Blue in there. The roof I want to also be warm. I've got a lot of cools in there, so the roof I want to be warm. So I'm going to kind of go with a warm gray. I'll start off with that on this roof. I'm going to leave that a little. This is actually a thatched roof. And I think what I'm going to do is connect these two roof shapes. Um, and now for the front here, in fact I'm going to leave this as white for now. I just want this one that has kind of a wooden, I'm going to go right over the opening there, kind of has wooden shutters or whatever on the side of the door. And I think what I'll do is just take, I'm going to use the Thalo blue because it's a green blue and excellent for making mixing greens. And I'm going to have this And I'm leaving this ledge on the top of the bridge to divide the house from the bridge. And this one a little bit. Thalo blue is excellent for making really strong darks. So I'm going to take some Thalo blue with the red and I get a really strong dark. But I want it to stay to the red side because I want this archway to have a gradation in it so even though this is very dark it's this end of it here is catching a bit of light from the other side so it's going to be a little bit lighter and then get into the darks in the middle This is, uh, it's too much contrast there, so I'll just tone that down a little bit. Okay, and this one, the same thing. So if I mix all three primaries together, I should get a gray. The reason I have two blues is because Thalo Blue has some very interesting, almost unique qualities, but it also has some drawbacks. And it, uh, one being it doesn't play well with red. So I want this to be, I'm using the cobalt for this. I'm just going to color in, color in. I'm going to paint the side that's away from the light. And while I'm over here, I'm going to take this flag mm -hmm. 